<laughs> Hello again! Day two! <laughs> Face painting! Um, today we want to actually get you guys trying to paint on your faces, practice how you get people to hold still, how to use, you know, our arms are pretty flat, but how does um, the cheek kind of change things when you're painting on someone's actual face? Um, again, it's okay if you're sort of like, ah, I'm kind of uncomfortable, that's okay, that's why we're doing this, um, to get you ready. So here is day two of learning how to face paint. Hey everybody, now that you have practiced how to just use face paint, hopefully you're a little bit more comfortable, I wanted to talk through when a customer is actually in front of you, what you should do. It sounds sort of silly, but for me, in my head, it makes total sense that I would ask them what they want and say hello, but um, when they're actually there, sometimes I would get nervous and I would totally forget how to even get through the experience. So I just wanted to talk about kind of what is the way you go through it so that um, you have a chance to practice that as well. The first thing you're gonna do is say hello, especially little kids are going to be a little bit nervous. So if you say, hi, how old are you? My name is this. They're gonna feel a lot more comfortable right away. So always, always say hello and try to get them talking to you. The next thing you wanna do is show them that sheet of options and have them pick. Occasionally they're gonna say, I wanna be Spider-Man, which is not on the sheet. Then you wanna send them to, unless you wanna take it on yourself, which you totally can, but if you don't feel comfortable because they're requesting something tricky, then send them over to either me or Brian or one of the more experienced painters and we can take that on for you. But typically they'll say, I want a bob or you wanna ask them, what color do you want it to be? Do you want it on your arm or on your cheek? Especially little, little kids, the hand is the best spot to do it because holding still is very tricky. But some kids may want it to be like a tattoo on their arm and some kids will really want it on their actual face. So just determine the subject and the location they want it once you've done that, you're gonna have them look at something. You probably can guess why this is, especially with little kids, holding still is super duper hard. So you might say, look over at that chair over there and try not to move. You really wanna tell them to not move as much as possible. And you may wanna warn them that it tickles. Some kids will be a little bit afraid that it's going to hurt and it will not hurt, but it will tickle a little bit. So just make sure that they know that that might happen. And again, say, try not to move because this will be tricky for some kids. Then the next thing you wanna do is just begin painting. Safety wise, always avoid the eyes. Even though this paint won't hurt them, if it gets in their eyes, it will sting. And same thing for the mouth. Do not paint over their lips. Even if they say, I want to have lipstick, say, no, sorry, we can't do that. So avoid the eyes and the mouth. And you may wanna avoid getting it in their hair, which is hard to do. You wanna keep it about two minutes so that um, we can keep moving people through. Otherwise we do get a lot of people and then a line will start to form. So you wanna paint kind of efficiently. If it goes over two minutes, it is not a big deal. Just try to do your best to keep it short. And then the big fun part is you get to show them what you just did. So there will be mirrors available. You wanna hold it up. Um, most kids will get a big grin. Occasionally you'll get a kid who is grumpy about it. This is very occasionally, but if you do get a kid who isn't very happy with what you painted, you can say, do you want me to try again? Use a um, wipe, wipe it off, and then start again. But mostly kids will be happy. Occasionally you will get a kid who the whole experience was just so overwhelming for them that they're not gonna say anything and do not take that personally. That's just some kids get kind of nervous about this sort of stuff. So just be prepared for that. So what we wanna do today is practice going through the motions of just what I talked about, greeting someone, having them pick their subject, figuring out where they want it, and then actually painting it. So you guys will be using each other in pairs to practice this process. Um, we want you to practice the whole process from beginning to end and try to take turns so everyone gets a chance. Um, I would definitely practice painting on someone's hand and also painting on someone's cheek um, specifically because those are different shaped canvases if you think about it that way and it just is different to paint on someone's cheek versus their hand. So today that's what we want you to work on. All right you guys so I have a willing subject here my son Otto who's yeah. gonna let me face paint him today. Can you say hello Otto? No. Okay <laughs> well um, remember you wanted to follow the procedure that I talked about so the first thing you would do is be like Hi, how are you today to your subject? And then make sure that they're okay. You might say, how old are you? Uh -huh. 
How old are you? No, I'm big. You're big, that's true. And then you want to show them the sheet to give them ideas. Do you know which one you want? Or you want a fire truck? A fire truck. So he didn't want one of the sheets, which is totally fine. If you're intimidated by the little thing they pick, it is okay. I want Daddy to do it. Well, so then you're going to ask, do you want it on your cheek or do you want it on your hand? Do you know which one you want? Should we do your cheek? Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> so if they're a little resistant, you may want to get their parents involved. So in this case, I would be like, it's okay. What's that? This is the paint. Can I have your hand? Yeah. It doesn't hurt, see? Yeah. So then you'd have them either look at something or hold out their hand. Do you want it on your cheek or your hand? Which one, Abby? Oh, my hand. Okay, so then you can use your hand to steady them and you also want to rest your brush on your leg so it doesn't shake too much. So then you can start painting and so I'll say hey this might tickle a little bit and give them that warning and then you can go ahead and start painting what they add. Does it tickle? There is your red fire truck. Is all done? Okay I'll help you clean it up. So once you're all done, then you can get out the mirror to show them if it's on their face. Otherwise, you can use your cell phone if the mirror's not available and just reverse the camera. So that's how you kind of go through. You greet, you ask them what they want, you make them look at something so that they don't move, and then you um, can start painting, and then you do the big reveal. So the five oh. steps. Oh. So some final thoughts for you guys. Um, it is okay to be kind of nervous. Typically PGT kids feel a little bit nervous about doing this and that is really okay. Hopefully this practice made you a little less nervous, but if you're very worried about it, please talk to Robert or Brian and they can help you kind of work through how you're feeling about it. If you get really stuck when we're there, we do have some plastic stencils you can put on people's skin. So we will have that as a backup if you're feeling really intimidated. Um, be prepared though, most kids will just be so happy to have been face painted that you will not have to worry about grumpy feelings. It's usually a really positive experience for everyone. And the biggest thing of course is when we are out in the field, whether you intend to or not, you as an individual are representing our whole school. So please, please, please be aware of that and keep that in the back of your head as we're out um, at the expo doing face painting. I will be there on Saturday, so I'm really excited to see you guys, and I think this will be super fun.